Hello everybody, welcome to this time lapse of my newest painting, Cocoon. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name's Rebecca, and I am the artist behind this channel. Stay tuned after the time lapse um, for a little more information about my painting.
So if you follow me on YouTube for any length of time, you will definitely um, probably, or you definitely probably notice that this painting looks a little familiar. Um, I did do a drawing of this painting on my YouTube, uh, on my YouTube channel, and I really wanted to take the drawing to the next step and create a painting. And I don't. Another thing you guys may have noticed, it depends on who's been following me the longest, but paintings take me. A very very long time like normally a couple months and I managed to do this one in a couple of weeks so that's definitely it's definitely a step up for me so um I pretty much painted uh, in all like every ounce of free time that I had I worked on this painting and that's pro I mean that definitely um, helped get this painting done a lot faster um, so yeah I'm um, a little bit of the painting process like anytime I start a new painting and like I'm staring at like a blank canvas I always feel a little intimidated and I feel kind of blind because I really don't know like you know I don't have a solid idea of like how I want everything to look for this painting I really didn't even have a plan or a color scheme so it definitely um it definitely kind of came together and sort of took a life of its own. I changed the background of it several times. Yeah, I ended up changing the background color um, several times to this painting. It was more of like a dark purpley color, um, the same color as like the eyeball at the top, but then like I didn't really like it as much so I kind of made it more of like a blue, like a dark gray blue color for the background. So that's just one example. 
And um, another thing that was really intimidated to draw um, or to paint in this painting uh, was the earth for some reason. Like, I don't, I've painted one earth and it wasn't very uh, detailed or complex, so I was definitely kind of worried about this one. Um, but it, it ended up coming together and I was really happy overall. And for a little bit of the idea I had behind this painting, um, part of the reason I named it Cocoon was um, it, I sort of wanted to, what's the word I'm looking for, kind of bring the idea of like a creative space or like sort of like a safe bubble that like creative ideas come out of. That was kind of roughly the idea, like a little safe creative cocoon. That was sort of my plan about what I was going for with this painting. I mean, you can interpret it interpret it like any way you want. I could imagine there's like a lot of different ways you can look at this painting and I definitely encourage you guys to do that and to get whatever meaning um, out of the painting, I guess. I mean, you could interpret it any way you want. But that was kind of the idea I had sort of bopping around in my head. So um, that was sort of the idea um, for this painting. And I definitely wanted to be a little abstract a little bit. Um, I don't know if the word fantasy is the right word to describe it, but I definitely wanted to kind of be obviously abstract, so very unrealistic um, to kind of give it a more like creative free flowing essence so yeah that was a little bit of my idea behind the painting <laughs> so I think that's pretty much all I have to describe the painting I mean I did it faster than my normal paintings um, I, I kinda did it like on a whim like I kinda just I wasn't really planning this painting out I just was kinda like oh I like this drawing I'm gonna turn it into a painting like that was kind of my um, how it kind of came about, and I obviously I said this like a million times. I finished it faster than usual, um, and then kind of the idea uh, behind it is, um, you know, creativity, like sort of like a creative bubble, safe space was sort of roughly the idea I had for this painting. Um, hence the name Cocoon. Um, I think that's really all the information I really have to share with this painting. I mean, I think it's uh, 16 by 20 and it's an acrylic. Um, but yeah, overall I was happy with the painting. I definitely want to, I have, like when I was doing this painting I got a bunch of ideas for like other paintings that I definitely want to um, explore and it, when I was doing it I just wanted to do like more different ideas and different themes. Like I just kept wanting to create and do more from this painting because it was such a, I don't know, it was kind of shot in the arm for me um, to want to try different concepts and I think um, going forward I feel more confident so um, yeah I can't wait to make more paintings. Um, also you guys I want to say thank you for 400 subscribers I am so happy um, I never thought I'd reach 400 I was really happy when I had five subscribers, so I just wanted to say thank you guys for subscribing, and I I want to do some time in the future, I want to do some giveaways. I definitely want to compile a bunch of questions for a Q&A. Um, I, I wanted to do that. Um, so if you guys have any questions for me, I want to do a Q&A, so please ask any question that you would like. Feel free in the comment section down below. I'm going to compile as many questions as possible. Maybe just give you guys a little backstory about myself. Um, kind of not really sure how I should go about doing this Q&A, but it would definitely help me um, if you guys would give me some questions, like a starting point for some questions. They could be art related questions, um, like my history questions all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, and then I have a bunch more ideas for the future for paintings and ideas, and I have a lot more videos I definitely have come out soon. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for subscribing, and thank you guys for being so kind, and thank you guys, you know, just for everything. I got 400 subs now, so I'm happy. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye!